Okay, let's discuss about fetal ejection reflex. Now, after nine months of gestation, that is pregnancy in human beings, fully developed placenta and fully developed fetus, both of them produce mild uterine contractions, that is contractions in the myometrium of the uterus. These mild contraction stimulates the anterior pituitary of the mother to release in a hormone called as oxytocin. Now this oxytocin hormone leads to further contractions of the myometrium of the uterus. These contractions then again stimulates maternal pituitary, the anterior pituitary to release more of oxytocin that leads to further contraction. This goes and on. This goes and on. Contractions lead to oxytocin release. Oxytocin then produces further contractions. And because of these process, the, there are strong contractions produced in the uterus which leads to the expulsion of the fetus via the birth canal that is the cervix and the vagina leading to parturition and this is called as fetal ejection reflex. Now along with this during the fetal ejection reflex there is a hormone released by the placenta called as relaxin hormone that relaxes pubic symphysis or cartilage in the pelvic girdle. Because of the relaxation of the uh, pubic symphysis in the pelvic girdle, the width of the pelvic girdle increases that further makes parturition an easy process. So that's how relaxin and oxytocin are responsible for parturition in human beings.